Um, well, I'm, I'm crying a lot this morning, particularly when I listen to um, uh, the music that comes through folks like Crystal River, The Innocence of Awareness, uh, because my inner child is fully lit on fire because I run an eternal flame. And um, because my timeline was like, a, uh, you know, an off-road course, uh, um, and I was thinking of the Orion Group, and of course I've known this forever, um, and 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 all the things that relate to etheric implants. It's it, it, the reason that I just cried was because I realized I was talking out loud to the cosmos is that I've said this before in other videos, you can use all the advanced tech that you want against me. Okay. But the ultimate consequence is going to be to you. Okay. Because the universe of consciousness does account for itself. There is accountability. Ultimately, there is always going to be ultimate accountability. So I had a conversation with a gentleman that I use this simply as an example, as a student and a teacher is one, because I'm a mated chip. And we know what a mated chip is running a cellular processor. Two magnets become one. That means when I run an eternal flame, I am learning at the highest rate of speed. And that's the most powerful shield. I call that the shield of raw or the shield of one. That means that wherever I am, I'm experiencing what love is. So I come from a God world. So I came down the fire pole a long way. So it's like being in observer mode, <laughs> experiencer mode, learning mode, teaching mode, all in the same moment. So I was thinking this morning when I woke up and I was thinking, yeah, time wave density fields. <laughs> okay. yeah. Wherever I am, I'm always in balance. So I do a dance with a girl, right? So I'm just as much a flower as I am the seed that grew it, the first seed, the first silver atom seed, okay? So I experienced that. That's an eternal blessing. Yeah, so um, this is a cosmic level reset. This isn't just galactic. This isn't just universal. This is like resetting all the clocks, as if you're going back to the beginning of time of first creation. Whoa. So you're talking full accountability. That's right. That's exactly right. That's why I cry so much. Okay. That's why I mentioned this to Karen Ann McDonald. This is where they're going to come out with a whole kitchen sink. They're going to do everything they can to crash the entire system because they know they're going bye-bye. And, and I was thinking to myself, you know, it's so simple because it's so basic because it's basic logic. When I communicated to the guy down there at La Poe Hoy, when I met him, and I believe it was his daughter and her boyfriend. How big is your universe? The one that your mind lives in. How much are you aware of? Right? So you know what it means to have a small telescope. That's called perception. So now you're in a perception vibration. Now we're in the core, which is the core blast furnace. How much fire are you running on? Right? So that's what I measure, is whether you're, how, how much fire you got in you. You had to light yourself on fire. You had to light an arc gate. Right? Which is to return to the innocence of awareness, which is the child within us, to experience the first eternal flame which is pure as it gets. That's as pure as love is. Right? That's what I experience in me. That's why I cry. Because I know that's an eternal blessing, which is an eternal gift. So the more that they keep doing against another, right, means the less amount that they get to experience everything else. So if you want a license to go everywhere, to experience all of it, then you want to be as pure as pure can be, and that's merciful. Which is Ra's eternal forgiveness. See, for the tetrahedon. That's fire. 
That's eternal fire. That's an eternal flame. That's what heals us all. So I was reminded when we talk about limited bandwidth or limited in scope or limited awareness or limited perception. And when your consciousness is in the collective consciousness of the first consciousness field, you're with one, the first one. That's how simple it is. So there isn't any separation between the one and everything else. So when you're always with the one, you're everywhere else simultaneously, wherever the one is, because you're experiencing being one, which is equal to the, all the others you're giving love to. You're everywhere raw is. That means you go on forever. I'm a forever being because I am forever giving love because I choose to do that. That's the pathway. And that's why everything that I experience will naturally go always, always, I'm, the first, the first spirit that I give all my hearts to is mama because of everything she's been through. My heart cries for her every day. That's right. That's why I've been trying to get as many native people on the planet to remember her. Put your bare feet on the ground and thank her for everything she gives us. Light your fires. Right, Mama? And so, um, I am forever and eternally grateful to all of you that are here. On behalf of the first one, the first gifter of pure, absolute, eternal love that I experience in me, I share with all of you. So I wish you a happy, beautiful day. Like a little child that I am, people used to ask me when I was growing up, you mean to tell me you wake up every single morning in a state of love and joy? I sure do. I cannot wait to start the day to see what the day is going to present to me. Because whatever it is, I'm bringing fire in there. Wow. Plug into this little kid. Plug into the one. First one. The first eternal flame, the flame of Adama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all have a beautiful day. We love you all.